What is up guys, it's TK, welcome back to Groupin channel, I hope you enjoyed the previous Clan Capital content, but on today's video I'm gonna showcase you how you can two shot the Dragon Cliff and on this video I'm actually gonna bring you default version of the Dragon Cliff base, so like a normal one, and then the next attack would be a very bad design of the Dragon Cliff because sometimes you might face them and this way you can easily two shot it and also on the third version i'm going to showcase you a normal build dragon cliff so we're going to jump into these attacks without further ado but don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed this content and let's go all right guys we're here on the dragon cliff and this is our army so what you want to do with these mass lightnings you might know already but for the people that don't, we're going to take out the dragon posts that are really further into the base. This is that default base, by the way. And I like to take some normal dragons, like the super dragons, of course, but normal in clan capital. And then inferno dragons to snap them out. But you need to make sure you have the right calculation for the amount of inferno dragons you're going to have. Now, you can see already I'm damaging that dragon also with the lightnings. And I'm trying to damage that air defense as well. Just try to do, you know, these little stuff. It could be nice. But don't forget, guys, this was a really good and high level dragon cliff. So that dragon post was level 5. And it didn't go down with two uh, zaps or lightnings or whatever you want to call it. Now, I'm, you know, pulling those dragons. But at the same time, I'm clearing this area. Some people I've seen, they clear this area first and then they go lightnings. That's, guys, it's going to cost you so much time. And time is an issue with the dragon cliff if you are going to two shot it. Now, putting the dragons with one giant is the best value because the giant is slow and it can really easily pull them as much as possible. And it has the HP to tank for a dragon. So your inferno dragon can kill it. Now, you could use one super dragon to do the same thing when the dragons are here. If there is, let's say, three or four four dragons at the same time you're trying to take out if you use a super dragon that is a good value now i have some minions just in case we need to take some stuff out that for example they are not targeting air one rocket balloon for that air defense just so my super dragon can get more value because i don't want it to die like that fast again this is the type of dragon post you don't need to lightning or you don't need to waste archers to get it because we can easily take it out with a super dragon and those um well inferno dragons now, this is what I meant by calculation. This is wrong. I had three Inferno Dragons, but the dragons already were dead. So I could have taken, let's say, so many more archers to take out a Blast Bow or a Bomb Tower. These are the important defenses for your second attack because we're going to use the Hog Raiders or Hog Riders in this case. But the second attack is going to be an interesting one, so let's go. All right, we are here on the second attack and we have four more lightnings for the, uh, you know, the remaining dragon post. You remember one of them was one shot because it was a max level. You can take it out with two and the other one still goes down with two or three in case it's not max. But I'm dropping it on the dragon itself. So keep that in mind just to damage the dragon. And then we're going to pull it with a ram. It would be nice if I would have taken a giant. I think it would come a lot more. But because there is no damage in this area, the barbarians of the ram can also pull this. Now, I have one super dragon again and two inferno dragons because there is two super dragons that are defending this space and they are left. One more minion on the corner. And this is what I mean. Already 30 seconds inside this attack and we haven't basically done anything, okay? Drop the super dragons to tank and then drop those two inferno dragons to take out the dragon posts like um, i mean the enemy dragons that's better but this is the important part now you want to have two groups of hogs don't go with exactly spamming all the hogs in the same area because they still have two bomb towers and also a blast ball and this is what i meant if i would have taken that blast ball or the bomb tower out it would be a lot a lot more easier and this is just experience for you to next time when you're trying this out make sure you calculate those inferno dragons but now heal spell use it on that you know hog raiders that are inside the main damage area but you can see already the hogs going separate ways can deal so much more damage and you can see already that one group of hog that went for that bomb tower they're gonna go really low on hp but because we have another group on the top side they are gonna be having a nice little you know time there and not die so this is coming so close because we have one wizard tower but don't forget the wizard tower 
with the point defenses can be really devastating sometimes on the, for example, few hogs left in the base. But the second group of the hogs that I mentioned are coming to help. And this is getting so close, guys. And that's really coming back to that one, you know, a mistake I made at the beginning. And oh my days, come on, hogs, can you do it? Come on, come on. Oh my god, that wizard tower is level one, I believe. Or is it level two? I don't know. Let me know if you know what level that was. But do we get it or no? So this is also comes to the area that you need to have cleanup. Another point of, you know, the Dragon Cliff, as I mentioned, is the cleanup and, for example, the time. Uh, you need to calculate this stuff really nicely on your first attack, the most important part. I could have bring more rams and the ram can easily just destroy the war and the barbarians can clean up. You don't need more, let's say, minions. There are more space. You can easily just manage the space right here. And this is going to be, I think, a time fill because we're not going to have enough time to get all this with two hogs left. But this was the way you can hit that default version of the Dragon Cliff. And by the way, this was a really nicely upgraded version of it because some of the Dragon Post was level 5. A lot of the clans don't have that and the level 4 will actually hold you a few zap spells to, you know, you can take a heal on the next attack like I did. Alright guys, we are on the next attack and this is a Dragon Cliff level 5 but take a look at this. That is insane. And by the way, this is the maxed uh, Dragon Post, so we need to use three zaps on it again. One zap on the top side. These guys don't still have one dragon, so that's one dragon list for us to deal with. But just the fact that they upgraded their Dragon Post means they know what this zap method is, but they just haven't had a good base. You know, why won't you put a good base for it? And by the way, talking about bases, make sure you check out the Blueprint website if you need any bases for this clan capital and now uh, again giant with that one inferno dragon and you know just barbarians to tank just a few seconds and this is why i love the super dragon take a look at how much splash it can do you can see the damage of these dragons going down that is like the points that i want to mention on this video mo mostly but we're going to show you how you can three star this but never be greedy because even if you take out a lot of those dragons and even all of it like i'm doing right now there's still so much base left guys so much but it's just about the fact that it doesn't have as many splash damage as the other district but it still has you know two bomb towers it still has two or three wizard towers you can see and we're trying to get the best value with the first attack but it doesn't matter if you don't get too many defenses because the first attack is mainly for those dragons we still managed to get a decent percent 47 percent that's near half the base in the first attack and let's go to the next one and see what i exactly do there because it's going to be a hog method as well but it's mainly this way it's just because the way it's designed you can go with a spammy method okay we are here with 15 hogs and some cleanup this time i have learned my lesson okay but just always take some cleanup and we're going again kind of a different group setups just in case there's a giant bomb or bombs you can see already one bomb but just in case okay you can see sometimes the hogs will collapse together like right now but you have two heal spells really nicely because you took out a lot of the dragons at the beginning if you haven't taken out a dragon like the first attack you can always take one heal spell it's way better than a graveyard spell trust me because it gives you so much more value on top of those bomb towers that are really devastating some hogs on the lower side can distract and take out that bomb tower so my main group doesn't have to go deal with the other one these are the important things you need to notice on attacking the dragon cliff and on the next replay you're actually going to see how important it is to be calculated to take exactly the amount of troops you need and i haven't done that i'm gonna spoil it for you okay we're gonna go to the next hit and see what i did there on to the next base guys and this is gonna be the last replay of the day but this is a properly designed it one it's not the best but it's a design dragon cliff so we're gonna go ahead and check out those uh, posts right here and also three for the other one because it's a level five don't forget that again one more way to pull these and I have a flying fortress if you have looked at my army. You might be wondering why did I bring flying fortress and not giants or super dragons or anything. It's really simple because this time I really wanted to move on with the time and deal some damage. I have some archers just to take out the dragon post on this side as you are seeing. Let the dragon go on the other side of it so archers can target it. And also there's a bomb tower on the left hand side. So we're going to take that out with the archers as well because it's just nice value. And now 
this fly fortress it's so good value because it can you know destroy those two splash damage at the beginning and it's not going to go down and it's going to keep on destroying the buildings meanwhile pulling the dragon so that's saving time this is another tip saving time again but make sure those dragons come quite close and then drop the infernal dragons because if they're not quite close as you saw from the other dragon they're going to target your infernal dragons now one more for the other one there is two more infernal and um, super dragons sorry here there is so many dragons now but that flying fortress is doing an amazing job and once it dies it's actually going to you know drop some skellies that if in that area there is no splash damage guys trust me those skellies are no joke look how fast they just went through that wall and they're going to take out quite nice stuff now one more Inferno Dragon for that, and this is again come to the calculation. I could have had, you know, a group of Hog Raiders maybe, and for example, arch Archers or something, or a Rocket Loon even to take out that Inferno Dragon. But let's go to the next attack and see what I did. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Lightning that Dragon right here. I just used four, just to damage it because I couldn't take any more spells. One Giant this time, because there is no point defenses on this area, and there is always, like we can see already, three of those air targeting um defenses right here and again pull the dragons as much as possible this is where i'm wasting again time don't forget it's all about time guys you need to manage it nicely so i could have dropped that giant way like earlier so when the other one was gonna die that dragon would have targeted nicely now warbreaker and then just to distract it a bit more inferno dragons and that dragon will go down i have another heal spell again for the second attack it's important guys because the heal can really help you now you can see already going in with different group of hogs just in case of those you can see zap traps or tesla and i'm saying tesla sorry the bomb towers and heal wherever it's needed guys you can see already i'm healing on the wizard tower because that's where the bomb tower will also do the splash and that's where the all the splash of this base is in that area log trap goes off don't forget the log trap is actually quite annoying for the hogs because with the combination of the you know the giant bomb and also the bomb tower it can really just kill your hogs max level hogs it can go down and for this method guys you need good level hogs but you can see the different group of hogs they're doing an amazing job and then when they come together it's really great but it was a lot of hogs i think you can see we have so many but we have no cleanup another tip for that don't take too many hogs and don't be greedy for it because normal like for example if i would have taken two less hogs it what it might still work but you know this one uh, i don't know i don't know man one minute can we take these buildings out i don't know at one minute we need to watch these hogs going around this is crazy but i don't think it's possible because they are going to the same area guys or for example sometimes if you took the hogs don't drop them all together like not in the same area i mean don't drop all your troops that's basically what i mean so once the defenses go down you can go ahead and drop your hogs now for example right out to the nine o'clock area and get that one out the way now these are the tips that i actually learned for myself in these attacks so i got the experience for it and i wanted to share it with you so you can also use it and next time you can show your friends that you can you know easily two shot this dragon cliff but it's all about that calculation guys on your first attack it's super important and this replay showed you on your second attack calculation is really important as well you need to be pinpoint with the you know drops of your troops and also with what troops you take okay so i hope you enjoyed this video overall if you did make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel and i hope you learned something new today about dragon cliff and i hope i see you soon on the next one don't forget to use code blue as always peace